Right guys, here we are in Virtual Pool 4. Now I'm actually on uh, uh, the Chrome browser at the moment and I'm on the Virtual Pool 4 website. Now the reason I'm here is, is I'm going to show you how to try and fix this problem about saving your password on Virtual Pool 4 online. I've found there's only one way to do it that works for me. Uh, whether it's the right way or the wrong way to do it, I don't know, but it works. Um, the reason we're here on the website is is you're going to have to uh, get your serial number for Virtual Pool 4. Now, that, just to make it clear, if you have the Virtual Pool 4 uh, offline and online, uh, when you go to download and reinstall Virtual Pool 4, uh, you do you're downloading the full game. You're not downloading the offline and the online separately. You're downloading one file that gives you both the games anyway. And it installs the two EXEs for launching the offline and online separately, should you wish to do so. So we're on this page here at the moment. Um, but we'll get back to it in a second or two. What I'm going to do is I shrink that down. Uh, what you need to do, first of all, is, is go in to uh well it depends how you do it i've got a program and installer but you might want to do it the simple way uh, the windows way where you go to start control panel uh, go to programs and features and then in amongst all the programs you're going to find virtual pool 4 uh, and if you find virtual pool 4 and virtual pool 4 online delete them both get rid of them so you you now you're now in a position where you don't have Virtual Pool 4 on your PC. Then what you need to do is is go into if I can get the right one, go to start, go to your PC, and go to your C drive. Now when you're in the C drive, uh, you'll have a a lot of little options up the top. Now the first thing you have to do is because a, a lot of people won't have this done and then we'll have problems in finding the, fo the, the folder that I'm talking about. You go up to view and then you have to check the boxes to make sure that other files and extensions are, are available to you that you can actually see them because the folder that we are looking for is an app data folder and it is hidden unless you choose the option to make it available to let you see it. So all of these boxes, I just check them. And that way you will see these hidden files and folders. Now you're going to say, ah, oh, there's the app data folder there. That's not the one we're talking about. Ignore that. If you go to the users folder and you then find a folder with your name on it, which is that one. That's my email. And if I open that one, this then opens up a list of other things. And once again, you'll see the app data folder. This is the one we're talking about. So remember, you're already in the position where you don't have Virtual Pool 4 on your PC. You've uninstalled it. You go to app data and then you go to local. Once you're in the local, the, the one you have to look for here is the Celeris folder, which is there. When you go into there, you've then got Virtual Pool 4, Virtual Pool 4 online. You hit your control button left control, highlight that one, highlight that one, right click and then delete them. Get rid of them. I'm not doing it at the moment. I'm just showing you what to do. So you've deleted both of those folders. They're gone. Right? So now you're in the situation where there's there, there shouldn't be any remaining files there of Virtual Pool 4 in your PC. So we shut that down and now we go back to our browser and we then log in to Virtual Pool 4. And I'll put a password in. We then go to Downloads. And once you're in the Downloads, uh, now you, most people are only going to see uh, one link here for your serial number. Uh, I've got two. There's a long story about that, but that doesn't matter. But this one here, for example, you click view, it will show your serial number for Virtual Pool 4. So what you're going to do there is, is uh, 
highlight it, right click it and copy that serial number. Uh, what you should probably do is just open a folder, create a new folder on your desktop uh, and then paste that serial number into your desktop folder. That way you'll have it and you'll know where it is. Um, but for the time being, you've right clicked it, you've got the copy of your serial number. Then what you should do is, is press that button there to download the full version of Virtual Pool 4. Now when you're doing that, you're downloading Virtual Pool 4 offline and online. Now, once you've got the thing downloaded, the other thing you must do is to make sure your antivirus is disabled uh, for the time being. So shut it down for however many minutes that you want. That'll allow you to cleanly install Virtual Pool 4 without any interference from your antivirus. And once you've done that, uh, when it, once VP4 is installed, it will ask you to paste your, your serial number in. So there'll be a window at the top of the screen and you right click and paste that serial number that you've got from here into that window and then VP4 should uh, complete the install. It'll say, um, do you want to run, the, there'll be a little window that will be checked to actually run the game. Uncheck it. Once it's finished the install, then you can uh, close that up and then look for your shortcuts in your desktop um, for Virtual Pool 4 online and then start the game and then you'll go to the login screen your login screen will be empty you'll then have to put your email in the window and you'll also check the box the little uh, Q chop, uh, the chop thing Q chop, that doesn't sound right anyway, the little chop box uh, highlight it, put your, your uh, password in and then launch the game and the game will be up and running uh, once you've done that you can shut the game down uh, the online version that is and then go back to restart the game and then you should find that your password has been saved and that will fix that problem for you so good luck with that if you've got any questions you can let me know in the comments or you can talk to me in the virtual pool 4 lobby so good luck with that